In the life of every thunderstorm, there's a downburst, but in about 5% of those thunderstorms, we get microbursts. That's when a narrow column of heavy cold air crashes to the earth at speeds of up to 150 miles an hour. One of the common names for a microburst is a rain bomb. In July of 2016, the Arizona Family News Chopper recorded this rain bomb over South Phoenix. It's estimated the storm produced winds in excess of 115 miles an hour. Local streets were flooded, dozens of homes were damaged, and there was a 30-minute ground stop at nearby Sky Harbor Airport. But as impressive as it looks, microbursts are actually very hard to predict. We have a lot of technology we look at between radar, satellite, and we use observations. We use a volunteer network that can, that can report to us when they're getting strong winds, damaging winds. But you know, all the technology in that, you're not gonna get to see every single little microburst. The technology is really good now where you can see a lot of those, but we're not gonna catch all of them. That's Tom Frieders, the warning coordination meteorologist at the National Weather Service in Phoenix. He says only the strongest of thunderstorms will produce microbursts. We talk about severe storms with winds. We're talking about winds basically in excess of 60 miles an hour. That's that threshold when we're going to start to see damage to structures, homes, trees, and things like that. But not every thunderstorm is going to produce those kind of winds. And we look at the atmosphere and we can, de we can determine those days that are going to be more susceptible to these downrush of airs. And while the lead time for tornadoes is routinely over 30 minutes, microbursts are almost never seen on radar until after they strike. But our radar doesn't refresh, doesn't uh, come up with a new set of images as fast as we would like. Most people think radar is instantaneous, it's not. The, we get a new scan of the entire area roughly every five minutes during thunderstorms. Microbursts can occur within that five minute period and be over by the end of that five minute period. That's ASU meteorologist Randy Cervini, who also says the stealthy nature of microbursts makes them especially dangerous to aircraft. Microbursts are incredibly dangerous, particularly for the aviation community, because uh, they are usually invisible. When a microburst happens, and it's this air bomb of air that is pushed down from the bottom of a cloud, when it happens, it produces a ripples in the airflow. And a plane can't see those and can crash very, very easily. Since microbursts are so tough to warn on, Frieder says we should all key in on longer term forecasts, which indicate an uptick in monsoon activity that may occur for a given day. He also adds that you can presume that if a severe thunderstorm warning is issued for your area, a microburst is possible. Pay attention to our messaging ahead of time and see those days that are more particularly dangerous for those type of situations and prepare for those and again, tie down those loose items or just prepare for severe thunderstorms in general. And we want to make sure that you